Okay, so I'm using a nightly build of uh, RetroArt, which is one of the lacquer nightly builds, uh, and I'll put a link in the description to this. Uh, because I'm using this, it's not overclocked. My Pi is just running stock, uh, and it's a Pi 4, 4 gig with a wired Xbox controller. No configuration needed for the controller. Uh, it just works straight away. Uh, and I've been playing around with the settings. So if I... Um, go into options, there was a few things I've changed. I've changed these two resolutions um, and it doesn't seem to change it in the game but then if you exit the game and start a new game it seems to take the the different settings. Um, a few other things I put in uh, I turned on smooth filtering 1 and texture enhancement times 2 and high use high res textures. I think that's all I've changed but before that it looked atrocious. Uh, it was really low res, really, really pixelated. Um, but it seems to play all right. So if I go back, uh, there you go, this is All-Star Tennis. And it's weird how it starts you at the top of the court in a tennis game in the first game. Oh, I was a little bit too keen on that. And it, it seems to be coping really well, so without being overclocked. I think there is a way of overclocking this because I saw on the nightly builds that there is a link to one that says noobs on it. And at the noobs, I'm pretty sure you can overclock with noobs and then launch this with the overclock settings, but I need to explore that. Uh, and uh, well, I need to see if I need to overclock first anyway. So, oh, sound like I broke my racket. Right, so if I quit out of that, I'm still trying to get used to the buttons. Right, uh, Banjo Kazooie didn't work. Carmageddon worked. Um, actually, I've tried. This is a different filter I'm trying now because I had it on a really high time six something, um, and it was a bit choppy, but it was still playable. Nice smooth spinning in. Audio is a bit Three, choppy. Two, one, go. And this handles nothing like the PC version. It's got a really, um, really sticky feel to it. Whereas the PC version was incredibly slippery. Uh, actually, yeah, this is better with this filter. This times two filter. It's still a bit. Not quite right, but it feels pretty playable. But that could be Carmageddon handling because they did like weird handling. So let's try another. Uh, Destruction Derby. I used to play this on the original PlayStation 1. I'm having trouble with the PlayStation 1 emulator. Uh, I need to play around with that. This this nightly build version doesn't update in the normal way that RetroArch does, but I guess that's that's probably because of, of how they're doing it. Uh, but it's great that it's got out so early. trying to select how much of it I can. I guess you have to play it a bit to... Broken. It's, uh... Oh, this doesn't sound good. Okay, incredibly slow. Nice, nice burnout. Use high-res textures. False, right. So let's try that. I'll restart the content from the beginning, see if that does it. I guess we'll tell them as soon as the audio comes through, we'll tell.
probably still a little bit stuttery. Yeah, it's obviously not right. Some of the other games are working. So let's try International Superstar Soccer. Good afternoon and welcome to this magnificent stadium. This is Chris James and I'm joined by Tim Butcher to provide you with the best coverage of today's game on Konami Sports. So this is without the high res turned on. Here we go, the game gets underway. The team occupying the end on the right of your screen will be the USA. The team occupying the end on the left of your screen will be Canada. Number 11. Tight defensive play. The ball is out okay, I'm the, I'm the Canada. white team. I don't know what any of the buttons are. Number seven. That's all right, though. Now, this is a great scoring opportunity. Great header. Because I know N64 is often quite a hard one to emulate. I think that's... Oh. He shoots! <laughs> Over the post. <laughs> yeah, really don't know what the buttons are. Oh, well, and keeps. He's all right. Oh, no. <laughs> okay, so that, that seems to run fairly smoothly. I'm quite pleased with that. Uh, so let's try another racing game. Oh. <laughs> right, okay. So the oh the analog stick works. Oh it's tricky though. Kind of leaning back and leaning forward works in this game. Speed seems to be right though, doesn't it? Not the best handling of, of a motorbike game. Oh, oh, look at that. Doing tricks. It's me, Mario. The steering's really sensitive. But working, that seems to be all right. Okay, so Mario looks decent, uh, reasonably smooth, and uh, I tried it just now, but my screen capture stopped working, but actually it, it plays really well. Once the long intro's over, So the analog stick works fine. Just checking the buttons. What does that one do? <laughs> oh. Yeah, so I'd say Mario works pretty well. Let's go in the castle. I could play around with the resolution and make it look a bit, uh, a bit smoother around the edges. I've turned it down for some of the other games, but this game could probably stand it because the the speed feels absolutely fine.
Okay, so maybe time for one more. Uh, oh, Revolt was alright. Sounds a bit rough. But the speed seems decent. The not break is. Soon find out. Oh, what did I press then? Oh, that's, that's fire. Get a bit closer. Oh, you can go there. Short bolt. That worked well. Okay. That's reverse. Right, so that seems to work pretty well. Again, this is all early days. Uh, you know, things will get optimised and also I can play around with the settings. Okay, so that was the lacquer version of RetroArch. Um, I hope you liked it. There are plenty more things I need to try. I really want to get the PlayStation 1 emulator working. Uh, and I want to get Dave Mirror Freestyle BMX working, but I'll do that in another video. Uh, and I want to play around with Dreamcast as well. But thanks very much for watching. Please like and subscribe.